Danov. Altcoin boom. Altcoin boom. Or should I say DeFi boom? There has been another boom in the market, and this came at a time when basically no one was expecting it. And I was one of those people. I'm sitting over here, I'm trading Forex, I'm trading stocks. All of a sudden, I hear a little ring on my phone and someone has texted me that there is another altcoin boom coming to the markets. And of course, I'm crypto advisor, I need to make a video on this. So I started doing some research, I needed to learn what this whole DeFi trend was, and that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video today. Again, a little disclaimer, I really have not been trading any of these coins. Since 2017 and 2018, I haven't even looked at the altcoin market because Bitcoin went up, I sold, I made some money, and now altcoins, you know, they all ended up dying. A lot of these projects were complete shit. They had nothing behind them. I didn't really want to trade them. I knew they would die out and that's exactly what ended up happening. But now all of a sudden people are telling me that it's coming back again and I wanted to take a look at it in this video. Now, before I get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. But without further ado, Let's get right into it. I started my research going to a website that I literally have not looked up since the previous altcoin boom. I went to coin market cap and I wanted to see the, the total market capitalization, right? If altcoins are truly booming, then I wanted to see some crazy spike like we saw back in 2018. I was expecting something like this. You know, the next altcoin boom, we're going to make a billion dollars. But I was sad because when I looked at the total market capitalization, excluding Bitcoin, which is basically the altcoin market, I found that really the altcoin market isn't making any crazy moves yet. So what is this? Is this a scam? What's happening here? Why are altcoins going up 300%, 2000%, 100%, but the total market capitalization isn't moving at all? I mean, this thing looks exactly like the price of Bitcoin. Now, of course, it is actually not the same thing as the price of Bitcoin, because if we zoom in a little bit here, you can actually see that altcoins are moving up a lot more than Bitcoin at the moment. And this is super interesting. This is the market capitalization of Bitcoin here and all other cryptocurrencies. And you can see we're at this very you know large resistance level. Bitcoin has been at 9,000 for seemingly 10 years at this point. I mean, I've been trading Forex and stocks, you know, making one trade a week and I'm checking Bitcoin and it literally hasn't moved in three months. I'm, I'm like, what's happening here? Bitcoin's supposed to be the one making, you know, 60% moves every hour. And all of a sudden this thing hasn't moved in three months. Maybe it is the new US dollar. But that aside, of course, Bitcoin hasn't been moving. And so although the altcoin market isn't booming to its previous 2017, 2018 highs, it still is moving up more than Bitcoin. So already this was progress. I knew something was happening here. And of course, the next vault that I opened up, the next book with cobwebs that I decided to pick up and read was the Binance book, which again was a website I literally have not seen in 30 years. I thought this site was dead at this point since no one's trading altcoins, but I was wrong. I went to Binance, I ordered everything by highest volume, and lo and behold, there are actually some altcoins that are booming out of this world. I mean, this literally looks like we're back in 2018 or 2017 again, but the interesting thing is, is as soon as I started looking at some of these altcoins, I was like, okay, you know, the, these coins are getting decent volume. We're seeing 3,500 volume here. We're seeing, you know, 3,700 volume, uh, Bitcoin volume here. So clearly these coins have some volume on them, but although there are these altcoins that are booming out of this world, the thing is the market cap of these altcoins are incredibly low. And this is one of the highest ones. Swipe here, $115 million market cap is one of the highest market cap altcoins that are currently pumping. And in fact, I think this is a trend. If you look at all of the altcoins that are pumping right now in the market, so whether it be SIS, or iris or erd i haven't even heard of half of these coins a lot of these coins are super low cap altcoins that people are all of a sudden coming out and pumping with as much hype as possible in order to try to get this market to be exciting again and it's not only new coins that are coming into this it's also old altcoins here's the thing what these people did is they knew about the altcoin boom. They literally just slapped a new name on it. They went from, oh, well, we can't call this the altcoin boom again. We need a new name. Let's call it decentralized finance, which basically means the exact same thing. But we can convince people 
Maybe you'll come back because you hear something new. Decentralized finance sounds so interesting, sounds so advanced. Let's go ahead and put our money in there instead and try to create some hype and pumps around it. And that's exactly what they're doing with a combination of new coins that have seemingly came out of nowhere and some old coins that people are going back to, even though they haven't done anything in like 30 years at this point, you know, it's, it's already been two years since 2017. And some of these companies haven't even written their white paper yet, but it's going up, you know, 300%, right? So people are coming back. They're looking at these coins that seemingly have something behind it and they're trying to pump them again. So what are my thoughts on this? What, what effect is this going to have on the market? I think that there are multiple things that is interesting about this little movement that's going on called DeFi, or basically just another word for the altcoin boom V2 of small cap altcoins. The thing that I like about it is that we're getting some hype back into cryptocurrencies. If you remember, cryptocurrencies, the reason why people love them so much, especially the public, especially retail traders, is because they get this idea that they can invest $100 into Bitcoin or into some altcoin and make 1000% gains in a couple months. That's really the main attraction that brings people to these cryptocurrencies and that gets people into the market. So now that we're seeing this little DeFi trend pop up, now that we're seeing these coins that are getting, you know, a couple hundred percent gains on them, even if they're small, right? The thing is the average investor, they don't even know what market cap is. So even though these coins have small market cap and they're easily manipulated in terms of how much they can grow, although that is true, the good thing is, is that we are seeing some big green numbers come back to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, which is very good for these retail traders. So what I hope happens here is I hope that this little DeFi movement turns into something bigger where we see another altcoin boom. That would be very exciting. If I go back on coin market cap, I want to go to this total market cap section, excluding Bitcoin, and I want to see this thing literally booming like it was back in 2017. And if I see this chart, then I know that everything's going very well. So I want to see altcoins start booming again, beginning with this DeFi movement and then spreading to other altcoins, making the market capitalization much higher. And then what I hope will happen is a lot of that hype, a lot of that volume is also going to come into Bitcoin as always when people get excited about these altcoins and then start the next Bitcoin bull market. So really the interesting thing, the thing that we have to look out for is will this DeFi trend, is it just going to die out like a lot of the other altcoin or cryptocurrency trends in the past? Or is this going to stay and be the next altcoin boom that's going to help start the next Bitcoin bull market? That's just my opinion. That's what I think about it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.